Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the Dane Electro 66. We're gonna be checking out this cool Dane Electro guitar that has this kind of Mo's Wright vibe. If you're not familiar with Mo's Wright, they were a brand of guitars used by like the Ventures and they are fantastic. Uh, I think Iron Butterfly used one, right? It was just really cool guitars. Now what's interesting is they've inspired so many companies. So Dane Electro has got its own vibe and so this guitar is kind of like their thing and a little bit of that thing. And uh, today I'm wearing my cool uh, Back to the Future hat because I want to show you uh, one of my guilty pleasures, which is 60s rock music. I really like 60s music, surf rock, rock and roll. I, I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, my mom made me listen to it when I was a kid so much that I don't know if it's just because it's ingrained, but I can tell you right now, I could probably recite more 60s rock bands and songs than probably any other genre of music. And uh, I could probably play more of that stuff too. Um, so uh, one thing I want to show you today is this guitar and a little interesting little tidbit, which is this has dual lipstick pickups uh, in the bridge. It's a humbucker, and with a little flip of the hidden switch and the tone control, we can make it a coil split it to a single coil. I have a huge uh, affection for lipstick pickups. In fact, early on in my videos, I was using a Strat with lipstick pickups. I, I don't use it in the videos anymore because a lot of viewers were saying, hey, I don't know, I don't have a reference of what those pickups sound like, so I can't tell how they're affecting the sound that you're doing. And I realized that, so I backed off. So this, what happens is this humbucker, this lipstick pickup humbucker, and this guitar has big, huge, plumpy notes. And I'm gonna show you that right now. See, and I just love how they kind of pop out. Right? Those notes, each one, had a very defined, focused sound. I like in the 60s that I call it the raking technique. There's probably a, a real term for that, which is that kind of like you play a chord, like a C chord, and you strum muting it, and you get that. And I find that when you go into that humbucker mode, you, it's too big. And it's too mud, mudded together and it doesn't have that same effect. Now, interesting enough that before I go to the next pickup, I want to talk about one of the unique features on guitars like this that I think make that style of music really come alive. And it's the zero fret. Now, if you're not familiar with the zero fret, check this out right here. This is the zero fret on the guitar. A zero fret is a guitar where there's a fret immediately uh, after the nut. So it's nut, then fret, and it's not uh, it's not another note. It is the same note. So an open, it would be E. Just the string is now resting on the fret. Now, there's uh, two, benefits to this, two benefits to this right away. One, your action's gonna be lower because it's resting right on a fret. It puts it right there. The uh, second thing is, is that technically, tonality wise, all your notes are the same. Where on a normal guitar, maybe the open note resting on a piece of bone has a different tonal, tonality pro, uh, tonal property than maybe one that's fretted. Now, I don't argue that second point very much. I don't notice that, but I don't notice it with my own ear and I don't really, really care. But I do know this, uh, guitars with zero frets, when you play that dreaded kind of F barred chord, they tend to be a lot easier, uh, a lot. And um, I have 11s, I put 11s on this guitar. Now, if I go to that neck pickup, that P90, with that same thing, you get these big kind of Right? And especially if you want to do those uh, bar chords like uh, for like the Ventures, you get that kind of... I think the reason why you don't see a lot of zero frets on guitars is because a lot of the inexpensive manufacturers for acoustics and guitars, especially coming out of Sears and Montgomery Ward, were using zero frets. And maybe that made the other manufacturers look at it as not an innovative technology or an innovative idea. Um, I'd really like to see more companies kind of have the cojones to try a zero fret. I really think it's an advantage. I think a lot of uh, players out there, if you tried it, you would realize you can get your guitar action a little lower 
and play a little better. And that segues me into the next part of this. These guitars, what's cool about reissue guitars like this, where they're not a reissue, they're kind of a new amalgamy of a bunch of other vintage style guitars is this. This guitar is made in Korea, which we all know makes really good guitars. The Korean factories are some of the better factories. They put really cool details in it, like they kind of made the neck match the body. But what's great about this is, this is the guitar that a lot of us, especially if you're like me, I always envisioned I'd walk into a pawn shop or an old music store and I'd see something like this just sitting there, this find, and I'd be like, yeah, this is great. What I find mostly is, one, you never see those, they end up on eBay. But when you do see them, they play like junk. The action's impossible. This guitar is really a, it's a, it's like I said, it's an amalgamy of a vintage vibe and look and sound, but a modern playability. The action on this is silly low. I have it right now really low. You could shred on this if you wanted to. I, I mean, I wouldn't, but you can. I have no restrictions when it comes to what I'm doing. Play anywhere on it. I have no problem. That, that position right there is a little tricky if the action's high. So, and same thing with those barred chords, like I said. So, that's what's interesting. I only had to do one modification to the guitar. I lowered the bridge, which isn't the modification, but I did round off the corner. I'll show you a picture right there. And what I did is I used a file and some really fine sandpaper. And I just round, I hate those sharp ends where they poke you right in the hand. If you play uh, Strat style guitars like me, uh, your hand when you rest on the bridge is fine. But when you go to these style guitars, they stab right in there. Yeah, right? That's it. That's the sound. I love making new music with it. I love kind of just... So it's just cool to see companies making cool guitars like this. Uh, and I wanted to show it to you today. I really appreciate you hanging out with me and checking it out. It comes in some cool colors, I thought, right? Nothing wrong with the classic red for me, right? Red and black, just... <laughs> So, all right, guys, as always, I want to thank you for your time and know your gear.